Dummy Fall Syndrome, also referred to as Neonatal Maladjustment, NMS, or Neonatal Encephalopathy. Affected foals may appear lethargic, depressed, or display more serious clinical signs. NMS can be caused by oxygen and nutrient deprivation in the foal before birth. It may also be caused by a failure of placental hormones to drop following birth. NMS affects approximately 1 to 5% of foals. Foals that develop NMS will usually show a number of the following symptoms, which may come and go or may change as the condition progresses. Seizures, tremor shaking in head and neck, weakness or lethargy, blindness, staggering, legs splayed, difficulty standing, stiff legs, disinterest in the dam or lack of recognition of the dam, loss of suck reflex, walking into things due to blindness or lack of awareness, recumbency, flailing legs while recumbent, restlessness or overexcitement, intermittent coma, jaw champing or grinding teeth, excessive saliva, excessive licking, tongue protruding out of mouth, abnormal breathing or gasping for air, vocalizations that sound like barking often due to broken ribs, sweating, constant ear flicking, constant blinking. The prognosis for foals that are asymptomatic at birth is good, with approximately an 80 to 87 percent survival rate. Long-term neurological side effects of neonatal maladjustment syndrome in horses are rare. If your foal exhibits signs of dummy foal syndrome, Contact your veterinarian for an accurate diagnosis. Several neonatal foal conditions share symptoms with NMS and must be ruled out. Foals with NMS should be kept calm in a dark, quiet space to avoid stimulation. The foal should be kept under constant supervision to monitor for changes and to assist with feeding and maintenance. Treatment for dummy foal syndrome involves intensive, supportive care including around-the-clock feeding, intravenous fluids, medications to control seizures, and the Madigan squeeze technique. With a high recovery rate for many foals, the Madigan thoracic squeeze is a technique that simulates the pressure effort a foal would be exposed to when passing through the birth canal of the moray. This method is used to treat foals that display NMS symptoms because their placental hormones have failed to drop. Performing the squeeze may trigger a drop in hormone levels, so the foal can stand and nurse. The Madigan squeeze is performed by wrapping and tying a soft rope around the foal's chest, neck, and ribcage in a particular configuration. Once the rope is correctly wrapped around the foal, the handler stands behind the foal and pulls on the end of the rope to exert 5 to 10 kilograms of pressure. The pressure should be maintained for 20 minutes. During the procedure, the foal will become limp and sleepy and have a lower pulse and respiratory rate. After the Madigan squeeze is completed, the foal should gradually begin performing normal behaviors such as standing, walking, recognizing its mother, and nursing.